What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. As you can tell, it's freaking dark out. That is because we already have been out on this lake for hours. If you guys tuned in to Tuesday's video, uh, this is before that. So if you haven't seen Tuesday's video, go watch that, then watch this video. But where we left off, we had a tip up. So no better way to start the video, I thought, than hopefully a walleye on a tip up. So let's go check it out. Definitely a fish here. Give him some slack. Got him? Yeah, it's better. Yeah, didn't take out too much line. It's not big, like huge, but it's probably it's 20. Ooh, there we go. Nope, not quite 20, but. It's a fighter, that's for sure. Nice, probably 18 incher. Decent way to start the night, I suppose. Like I said, oh, we got another tip up. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, it's it's gonna be a crazy night. I'm gonna get this guy unhooked. What you guys can expect in today's video is a lot of tip up fishing. We are gonna be jigging in the shack and uh, hopefully a lot of walleyes this size and even a little bigger. We know three people this winter who have caught like 30 inches out here. So anything's possible, any flag could be that dirty 30. That's what we're all searching for and uh, great way to start the night. So I got the hook out. I was really confused. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But this fish is hooked. Somebody got broken off already once from this fish. Probably not gonna take it out because it's probably the hooks down in there. So I'm gonna just release him. Okay, see you buddy. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got that other tip up. Unfortunately, somebody lost that fish. It wasn't a giant or anything, but we got another flag, so let's go get her. All right, flag number two. Let's check it out. No movement out of her since we've been here. Had to take this tip up light off. Oh man. Wow. Like Nick was saying in the intro, if you guys haven't seen this previous video that we uploaded, whew, it's been a crazy night and it looks like it's going to continue. Not seeing any movement out of it, but I think I'm just gonna take this one right away. Oh, there's the bobber. Nothing. That one got away. I can feel the minnow though. Well, that one took out well, probably about a foot and a half a line or so and uh, smoked our minnow. Using suckers today. Yep, small little sucker on there. Came up and said hi, but unfortunately I did not land that one. That's okay. We're going to go ahead get that back down there. We gave it some time. It didn't end up spinning. Hoping that the fish is just getting it down. Of course, if you get to them a little bit too early when they're still spinning sometimes, you don't end up landing that fish. You'll just pull it right out of their mouth. So go ahead, get this one set back up and uh, just wait for the next one. Maybe we'll get some more action while jigging. Made her back to the shack, jigging for a little while. Didn't take long. If we check out the door here, take a look. Where is it? There it is. Oh, another one just popped you. Look at, oh. We got two tip ups. Here, I'm gonna close this. Oh, yeah. Gotta two blinking red lights. Oh, well, he's probably gonna get those, huh? Keep that nice and warm. Let's go get some tip ups. All right, check out the first one. Bobber is right there. Literally right there. All right, let's leave that one. Let's go check out this one. How's this one looking? No movement out of her, but I do not see a bobber. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I could see through the window. Basically what we're doing right now is just fishing some weed patches. That one's lined up basically right on the edge of the weeds. This one here uh, is on just kind of sandy, some sprouts of weeds and stuff like that, but a little bit more sandy, gravelly area. We are fishing a hump like we said, and uh, seems to be doing all right so far tonight. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just check this one right away. Gave it some time. Let's see if we've got anything there. Ooh. Oh, it's not spooled. He's there. Is he, huh? Yep, got him. A walleye? Head I'm assuming shakes. walleye. Head shakes, lots of them. There he is, woo, wow. All right, there we go, feisty little guy. That's for sure. Don't know what's going on with his dorsal here. Look at that. Definitely some character to that one, it looks like must have been split or cut maybe when he was younger and uh, 
that's interesting kind of cool just a little guy probably around that 15 to 16 inch range like we were saying in the intro we've been out here for a while and if you guys didn't see the video before this one um, this has been a very cookie cutter size that we have found so far on this hump but we do know that there's some bigger ones that come out through this area we do have another tip up uh, the bobber was only like maybe taken two inches out so I don't know if there's actually a fish there could have just been bumped or something like that so I'm gonna go ahead get this guy unhooked right away hook is right there pops out just like so using suckers tonight and that one came up and clumped it there we go holy <laughs> <laughs> wow surprised oh. he wasn't running with that much energy yeah he had some energy that's for sure well that middle might be all right put yeah. it back on check that other flag yep let's send this one back down quick and we'll go check that other tip up all right on to tip up number two not confident with that uh, yeah, bobber that, that bobber's right there being right there but Who's to say? Nope. All right. Nothing there. Minnow's still there though, but pull it up and check. Something must have just swiped at it, I guess. Yeah, we're not using very big minnows out right now, maybe three, four inches. So something definitely had to have swiped at it. Well, another tip up. It's been a little bit. Kind of feels like there's a pressure change or something coming through. Let's tip up isn't moving which has been a common theme after dark but caught a fit actually both of the fish that we caught were doing this where they just took it and kind of went to bottom and then sat so could be a fish here it's only been up for a couple minutes we saw it right away but probably take her check to see don't see bobber it must have ran a little there is a fish and there's head shakes. And there's a wall. All right, well, just what I expected. I wasn't expecting anything large and in charge, but just a tiny one. Actually, probably the smallest of the day so far for us. Well, that's long, skinny male. Barely hooked. Not sure how much longer we're really gonna stay out here just because the fishing has definitely slowed down and uh, the size really has gone down also with that one i mean we haven't caught a ton after dark which is really surprising because this water is extremely clear so you would think a lake like this would actually be better after hours just because of how clear the water is but it was kind of a cloudy day and like i said it feels like a front or something's coming through i don't know if you guys can tell but there's a little bit of snowflakes kind of coming down right now and uh the wind's kind of picking up a little bit more. We didn't have like any wind today, so not sure what that's really about. We're probably gonna give it a few more minutes uh, to see if we get another flag or not. Probably go back in the shack, jig, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. And uh, if we get another flag, great, but uh, not sure how much longer we're gonna stay out here. Well, that didn't take long, huh? No, no, we literally just set this and it went back up. It Slight just, turns. Yeah, just, oh, there it goes. Just did another turn. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, we just set this thing. But is it the right time to pull it? I see the bobber. It's, it's like, it's right there. Two feet, maybe? I mean, obviously there's a fish here. But, you play that little game, it's like, I can pull it now, it's spinning. But maybe that fish just has it barely in and the hook actually is just out of the fish's mouth and then I miss it. Or I let it take it and then it puts the minnow in, feels the hook, is like, wow, I don't like that. And then he spits it and drops it. <laughs> There's really no right. So I'm just gonna take it, see what happens. And I got the fish. Oh. This one feels better than the last one. Not by much. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah, it's better than the last one. We just set this flag. Oh my goodness. I mean, not huge, but... <laughs> that's a lot better than the last one, though. I was Holy just God. talking all this talk about how, you know, size is going down, front's coming through, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Don't listen to any of that, because I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's probably a nice, like, 20, 21-inch male, yeah. for sure. 
and maybe something's happening. I mean, it was in the water for like a minute after, not even, not not even. even. <laughs> maybe 30 seconds after we just <laughs> caught that last one. So that's great. I'm going to get them unhooked and uh, put another minnow on. I guess we're going to stay until they stop biting. One last look. Nice, healthy male walleye. Really gold. Absolutely love coming up here in the Northwoods, hitting these lakes and catching that Wisconsin gold. Ooh. Wave goodbye with the tail kick. That is just so awesome seeing those bigger fish go back. And that wasn't like a mega giant or anything, but they do get bigger. Uh, you know, I was just talking all that talk about how we're leaving. No, we're going to head back to the shack. We're going to see if we can jig up some walleyes and then hopefully get another flag. And hopefully the size actually keeps going up. I know I thought it was going down, but apparently it's going up. Well, we have been in a lull for probably, I want to say at least an hour now. It's 8.30. A lot of you guys wonder what time we actually end up packing up. And to be honest with you, it all depends on really when the fishing stops. We've left at 7 before. We've left at 8.00. We've left at three in the morning. I mean, and Brandon, he stayed out all freaking night. So really it all depends on just how much time we have and when the fish are not biting. And in this case, uh, they're just they're just not biting. I thought with that big one, you know, that back-to-back -back action, maybe, maybe there's a chance that it was gonna, you know, pick up, but that just never was the case. We came back in here, we tried jigging. We probably had like five or six fish, came on through, um, hooked one, but, Ended up just taking the minnow, and then, uh, I don't know. The other ones, they would just come in. They'd look at my bait. I was just using a live bait, and uh, Brandon was using a spoon with a minnow head. And they just, they'd come in and look at it. So our plan is we're going to tear down the shack. We're going to give these tip-ups, like, every last chance possible to see if we can maybe get one more flag for you guys. But we're going to pack everything up. We still had a fantastic day. Like I said, we've been out here all day. If you guys haven't seen Tuesday's video, make sure to go check it out because we absolutely clapped the walleyes and uh, we thought it was going to pick up, but I think something pushing through. So pack everything up. If we get another flag, you guys will see it. Otherwise, if you don't, we will see you guys back at the landing. Well, I almost don't believe it. Packed up everything. As you can tell, this is where the shack was. The shack is no longer there. We pulled our deeper tip-ups. We got the sled completely packed. And we got a tip-up. We left these two that were a little bit shallower, probably 10, 11 feet. Um, kind of closer to the weeds than these further out ones. Just hoping we would get one more flag before it's time to go and uh, our prayers have been answered. Now, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a giant. Like, obviously I would love a 30 inch right here. That would just be, oh man, that'd be textbook, but. Yeah, I don't know. Tonight is just, it's just been a little different. Go ahead and take that off. Pretty much doing what all the other ones have been doing, which is nothing. But we did catch three fish with them not even running, so there's always that chance it kind of just took it to the bottom and it's sitting there, but I don't know. We'll give it a few minutes here and then we'll see if it uh, starts running. Give her a go. Not a great sign. Hmm. Yeah, not a great sign. No, there's nothing here. I don't even feel the minnow either. Nope, absolutely not. Ah, oh, to go out on a miss like that, that really just kills me. But, makes me want to come back out here next time, I'll tell you that much. But, unfortunately, it is getting late. Uh, since the last time you guys saw us, I mean, it was probably another hour past that even. So put this one away, go pick up that other one, start up the sled, hope to God it starts, drive back to the landing, and we'll see you guys when we get there. Well, folks, we made our back to the landing. It's been a pretty crazy day. Like things started off, um, we got into some jigging, got some tip-ups, and uh, it was pretty spectacular. I mean... If you guys haven't seen the last video, as we said earlier, you're gonna wanna make sure to check that out. It gives you a little bit more of a background as to how today started. When Nick and I started this video, it was already nighttime and we had plenty of walleyes on the line. And then tonight, we had a little snow and a little bit of some pressure change, some weird stuff that happened, but we still caught fish all throughout the night. We did have two massive lulls though, and that's overall what led to us leading to believe I just don't think they're gonna be biting all that much the remainder of the night. So 
Like Nick said, we packed everything up. We just got everything back to the truck. We're loading everything and we are going to be on our way. Now, we are going to be getting back out and doing some more ice fishing next weekend. We wanna know what you guys like to see the most here on the channel, whether it's bluegill, perch, crappie fishing. Uh, I know a lot of guys are strictly just panfish guys and they don't really target game fish a lot. I know a lot of you guys like to fish for pike. Some of you even fish for largemouth bass or maybe even smallmouth bass through the ice. We do occasionally catch those fish too, but we are definitely hardcore walleye guys. We've definitely noticed that over the last couple of years, especially this year. We've been grinding the walleye content and it seems to be doing really, really well. So if you guys would let us know down in the comment section below what you guys would like to see the most we'd greatly appreciate that again got out here fished some humps today and uh, worked out really really well these fish late in the year are definitely relating to those green weeds if you can find them uh, gravelly rocky areas are working really well too so again if you guys enjoyed make sure to give this video a big old fat thumbs up for us we would greatly appreciate that guys anybody who's new to the channel make sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell and it'll give you an alert anytime that we post a video in the future so stay tuned for more tight lines from NB edits <laughs>